Hello everybody and welcome back. Now before we continue to the next section I just want to show you a simple tool that you can download from GitHub uh, which you can use in order to automate the process of creating the evil twin access point. Now what I mean by that is basically there is a tool on GitHub that will do all the stuff that we will manually do later on automatically. So it will create all the files it needs and all the process and all the process of configurations in order to create the evil twin or the basically another access point for you. Now that this can be used once you need an access point with a login page so you can prompt users to enter their credentials in order to access the internet and you can capture those credentials basically with Wireshark on any sniffing program. Now I will not cover how to use this tool since my cat Linux as I said can't support uh, the evil twin attack, I will only show you how to install it, but the process of using that program is relatively simple, you just need to click on some of the numbers in order to make that work. So let us just open up our Firefox, let us go onto the new tab and search for the Fluxion, so just type here Fluxion, GitHub. Once you open that, go on to the first link, which is the Wi-Fi Analyzer Fluxion, official rep of Fluxion, click on it. And what you want to do is basically do the process of installing a GitHub program. So copy the link of the file or all of the program and then type here. Let me just go one directory back into our root directory and then git clone and then paste the link and add dot git. Now this will take a few seconds to download. And once it is downloaded, you, I will show you how you can install uh, all of the required things you need in order to run that program. Now after that, you can run the program and it will basically just give you a bunch of the options available for the program and you just click on the number which suits your needs. It is very simple to use, so we will not cover the entire program, uh, mostly because I can't really run it on my Cal Linux environment. So let me just see, there we have the folder fluxion, so change your directory to it. And once you do that, you can list the files that it has in that directory, and you can see there is a program called fluxion.sh. Now before we run this program, we need to perform the process of installation, which we can find in the install subdirectory of our fluxion directory. So just change directory to install, list all the files, and you will see a file called install.sh. Now, in order to run this file, we need to type here bash and then install and then uh, basically just bash install.sh. Now, once we run that, it will basically download all the needed files that we need in order to run this program. Uh, as we can see, I haven't updated my Cal Linux for a long time, so this might take actually longer than it should for you. Uh, if you updated it regularly, since we can see there are a bunch of packets that need to be removed and that are no longer required. Now it is removing those packets and it will install the packets it needs in order to run this. So we just wait for this to finish and once this finishes we can basically run the fluxion.sh in if we successfully installed all of the files it needs in order to run it. So right now it's removing some of the Python files right here. Basically I believe it is, those are the outdated versions and it will basically install the newer versions after it removes all of these older ones. So we will wait for this to finish. So here it is, the process of installation of Fluxion has finished for me. As we can see right here, it had to install several things in order to make this program work. Now, it probably took a lot faster for you to finish this since I had a bunch of packets that should have been installed on my Cal Linux machine. But once this finishes, uh, you're basically good to go and we can just see the back one directory. Let me just clear the screen and type ls once again. And all you need to do right now is basically run the fluxion.sh. So we do that with bash fluxion, oops, fluxion.sh. And you can see that it will perform a checklist of all the programs that it has to have in order to create the program. Now we saw that all the programs were already installed with the OK mark. And now right now the first question it asks right here is select your language. So you select any language you want. And for me, right now, it will not be able to proceed since it says there are no wireless cards. 
Now, for you, if you have a wireless card, you can just follow the uh, simple steps that this program takes in order to create a fake access point with the captive portal. Uh, basically it automates the entire process, you do not need to do anything else except choose for the wireless access point and you will be good to go. We will do this manual process, uh, we'll do this process manually later on, probably somewhere towards the advanced section, but for now on uh, I just want to show you that this tool exists and you can use it if you want to or basically if your wireless card supports it. Uh, that would be it for this tutorial. I would would have covered the entire program if I if my wireless card supported it, but it doesn't. So uh, we'll just continue with the manual process later on. But in the next lectures, we will cover the some of the security measures you can take in order to protect your wireless network and in order. And we can also check out how we can, for example, find the name and connect to the hidden networks if someone has set their wireless access point to be hidden. I will show you that in the next lectures and I hope you enjoyed these ones for now on and hope I see you in the next one and take care. Bye.